in the beginning was the Word, or the Logos. N-R-K, ain ho, Logos. In the beginning was the Word. Uh, told the story of a plane ride, a plane ride I'll never forget. Uh, I'm riding uh, next to a woman who's reading a book, and she's reading a New Age book about Jesus. Um, if the title of the book didn't give it away, the cover gave it away that this was a New Age book about Jesus. And I, it was one of those times I was tired. You know, I just, you know, I, 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 I know you'd probably love to think that, you know, that, that us, you know, preachers, when we go somewhere and, and we preach and we do all that we have to do, we get on the plane and we just can't wait for the Lord to give us somebody to witness to. No. No, when we're through with y'all, we want to get on the plane and go to sleep. And that's what I wanted to do. But not this day. I'm getting on the plane and I just want to go to sleep. I get on the plane and I sit down and I'm like, my, my row is empty and it's one of those days where I just felt, Lord, if you love me. Just, just give me this row, God, just give me this row. And this woman sits down. That's fine. She's, at least it wasn't a big old burly man, right, like me. Just nothing like two big old burly men sitting next to each other on the plane. Right? Again, whose elbow is going to be up on the... No, so it's a, it's a woman. Okay, Lord, thank you. I appreciate that. I was ungrateful. So now I can sleep because it's not a big burly man, and she opens up a book about Jesus. <laughs> not going to happen, is it? <laughs> and so we have a conversation about this book about Jesus that she's reading, this book about Jesus, who's, you know, and I, I ask her, you know, if she knows my Jesus. And she says, yes. And I say, well, well, who is my Jesus then? He's, you know, he's a good man, and a good prophet, and a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> and that was all. That was all. And so I, I just had to ask. I said, okay, well, do you believe that he's, do you believe he's God? No, no, I don't believe that he's God. I, I, I believe he was, you know, a man who was close to God and he was this and that and the other and you don't believe he was God. Do you believe that he's the only way to God? No, I don't believe he's the only way to God. You know, there are many roads to God. Do you believe he died and rose again on the third day? No, no, I don't believe he died and rose on the third day. So then you don't believe that he ascended to the right hand of the Father and that he's coming again to judge the living and the dead? No, no, I don't believe that. I said, well, ma'am, I don't know you very well, but I feel obligated to tell you, you got issues. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because you believe that Jesus is a good man, but this man said, I and the Father are one. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. You say you don't believe he's God, but he said that he was God. A man who says that he's God is not a good man if he's not God. You also say you believe he's a good prophet, but you don't believe that he died and rose again, ascended to the right hand of the Father, and that he's going to come again to judge the living and the dead. But Jesus prophesied that he would go and prepare a place for us, and that if he went to prepare a place for us, he would come again and receive us to himself. If he's not going to do that, then he's not a good prophet, he's a false prophet. You also said that you don't believe that he's the only way to God, and he said, I am the way, the truth, the life, and no one comes to the Father but by me. How can he be a good teacher if he taught that he's the only way to God when he's not? That would make him a false teacher. You see, if Christ is not, the God-man, if he's not everything that the Bible says that he is, then he's not worthy of our worship because he's a liar and a false prophet and a terrible man. But the good news is she was wrong. 
He is God. Up my beepers. And so we worship him.